Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and I was emailing a guy back and forward who was having issues with his Hack RF1, well specifically GNU Radio. And I can understand why GNU Radio is, is a bit of a is a bit of a funny beast. Um but he was trying to do essentially like a, a replay attack with his car keys. And they have a rolling code, so there's a bit of difficulty in there, but I thought it would show how to capture and replay signals um, and also how to jam signals in GNU Radio. So whenever you uh, open up GNU Radio you're going to get this screen. And you'll have an options block at the top which you can more or less ignore and a variables block here. Uh, the variable block you'll want to change but I'll just show you this is one I made earlier. This is a receive. So I changed the variable block to 2E6. Now the E6 is just a mathematical operator and it just saves you typing out all of the zeros, it just means mega. And another variable I put in is freak or frequency. You don't need to do this, but I find it's easier, just it saves you then having to put in the same frequency the whole way across anytime you put in a new source or anything that needs a frequency input. And um, all you do is you name it freak or frequency, whatever you want really, and then you put in the value that you want. So this is 433 and then E6, so it's megahertz. Then you get an OSCOM source, or OSMOCOM source, sorry. And the way you get that, if you don't have a search uh, function up here, if you hit the uh, magnifying glass, it'll give you the option. And if you type in OSMO, it'll load up. And you'll have OSMOCOM sync, which is a transmit, essentially. And the OSMOCOM source, which is the receive. And you just drag it across. Same again, then we need a file sync, which you just search for. And there it is there, and you drag it across into here. Um, in here, you put in where you want to save the file to, and that's all that is. You say where you want to save it, that's the only thing you need to do. And that's all you need for a receive. Now to transmit, um, in this case we're taking the file source, so this is the uh, file that you would have saved from the receive. Multiply constant 5, you don't need to do this, however it um, it does help um, clear the signal up a bit and give it that bit more power, um, which is essential for uh, whenever you are uh, trying to overpower another source, you want to make sure that your signal is as good as can be. And then here you have an Osmocom sync. Now in here, uh, you will have a channel frequency, which in this case I've just put in freak because I have the variable saved over here. Uh, you'll also want to change a few of the gain parameters. So the RF gain, radio frequency gain, you want that to be zero. The intermediate frequency gain, 47. And the baseband frequency gain, you want that to stay at, at 20. Uh, again, there are many um, differing opinions online as to what's ideal here. So I, I suggest just, just tinker about and see what fits best. But these will at least give you a ballpark. Uh, you can also change the bandwidth here, but you, you may not need to. So the way the roll jam device worked, I had a video on it, you can go back and watch it for a, a fuller description, but it jammed the car's receiver while you're capturing the source. And for this, for the jammer, all you need is an arbitrary signal source, which you can just search for up here. And in here you want to put in the frequency that you want, and the amplitude. The amplitude doesn't overly matter too much because the main power is going to be get, got by your um, transmitter, and if you have an amplifier in there or not. Um, but you know, have it reasonably high to, to keep it uh, uh, just just to make sure. And then this is just a GUI sync, so this is just a visualization. This just allows us, whenever I hit this button, it allows us to see the uh, the signal. So this is the the arbitrary signal that was generated, and that's all that does. Now the reason it does that is just so that I can show you. How this works because I again I don't have a hack RF1 so I can't actually transmit and, and show you that way. Now these things are all well and good um, separately but we need them combined together for them to be in any way functional. And this is a simple one. There is more complex ways of doing this um, and if you want to do the exact same thing as the roll jam there will be more complexity added in and I'll be doing a separate video on how to completely mimic a roll jam at a later date. But this, all you have is your OSCOM source. So the source is very much like the sync. You have a frequency that you want to put in. Uh, the only difference is 
the RF gain, intermediate frequency gain and baseband gain. Again, there are difference in, in opinions on what is best, but um, 0, 16 and 16 will at least give you a ballpark to work with and then you can tinker with them as and when if you want to, to try and get see what works well, but this should work as is. You then have the multiplier constant and then the Osmocom sync. So this is, you're receiving the signal, you're um, giving it a bit of oomph and then you're transmitting. There's also a file sync coming off one of these which is just saving it to another file. And then down here you have your um, jamming device which is your arbitrary signal which is then going into an Osmocom sync. Now the difference is here, you need to make sure that your frequencies are off because you don't want this to be transmitting on the same frequency that you're trying to receive um, or that you're trying to transmit on. So for these sources and the sync, you want to use an SDR and look at the signal that your car keys, because you're not going to be using this on other people's cars, I am sure, um, but you would look at your car keys and see where the signal is at its peak and that is the frequency that you want to use in there. So in this case I would change it over in, in the variable. So I would make it very specific and say okay this frequency in particular so say 433545 or whatever um, I would type that in here and that's the specific frequency that I want to capture the signal and also transmit the signal out. Okay and then on the jamming signal what you want is you want it to be within the same receive bandwidth of the car but not on the same frequency that you're trying to transmit essentially you want to avoid jamming yourself you want to jam the signal that you want and get your signal through and um, that's that's the way that the, um, uh, the way that the roll jam functions um, so that's it for this one I know this might have been a bit heavy going I always try and keep these videos simple but um, uh, hopefully that explained a bit. I will have an email address in the comments. Uh, if you want to ask me any questions, uh, feel free to email me or uh, ping me a message in the uh, comments. Either or, I'll, I'll get back to you. And uh, if you've liked, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be doing more videos on this stuff in the future. So, cheers.